Well, welcome, welcome back to our, our second part of this um, crown removal tooth preparation. Uh, tooth is number not, uh, excuse me, number five um, with, with Victoria, our patient. Um, we're now removing the decay, the old buildup material. We're going to use a, um, a round burr. Now I'm going to go right to a number four round burr. And Victoria felt it a little bit, so we'll try again. You okay so far, Victoria? I need a little water with that. So you'll feel the vibration, but you shouldn't feel any tenderness. You okay? Everything good? Thumbs up? Yeah? A yeah, little water. Sorry for the vibration. All right. I'm going to go in with a, um, a regular chamfer burr. Regular chamfer. We're going to put a little vitro bond in here. It looks like we're, we're getting in close to the middle of the tooth, so I want to put, put some protection down. I'm going to switch now to a chamfer burr. Just going to get rid of a lot of this other stuff here. That's covered the tooth and uh, making sure it's not, it's just stain and not something like decay. And we'll have to switch to the other suction tip now because you'll need to retract the lingual dam. Retract. So we don't have to worry about the buckle cuffs. That's reduced a lot. We're going to just take it down a little bit here in the central groove area and reestablish that plane. Air in the mirror. Number six round burr. Dry the tooth. Okay. A little vibration again. Uh huh. Water. Great. Okay, I'm just double checking everything, making sure we're thorough here. Uh -huh. Okay, let me have a number two round burr again. And dry the mirror. Again, we're under eight power. Um, just want to be sure that this is not the case. So I'm going to take a smaller burr and run it over it. That's pretty shiny, and it's not penetrable. 
So it's some kind of a silver that might have contaminated or gotten into the dentin. Uh, more of an orangey color, an amber color. All right. Looks like we're good to go. We're going to scrub with, again, concepsis again, loaded in a pre comp syringe, suction only. And um, that's nice. Tissue looks great, nice and pink. We're going to go ahead and rinse that off. Now we just lowered the light. And we'll use an air air syringe. This syringe has, uh, we always put a blue tape on it. I'll just show you that uh, real quick. Blue tape that tells us that no matter what button you push, there's no water that comes out of that. There's a filter on this system and also one in the, um, one in the, the unit itself. And then one, of course, with our, um, our air compressor and our compressor room. So again, here we go. Now I'm going to just dry off our tooth. And just going to add an ever so small amount in one particular spot. Now you come on out of there. That's where I want it to go. I don't want to go too crazy here with the material. You want enough on there, but not enough that takes away from my strength and my bonding. That's where I want it. Okay, I like hear that. Okay, everybody out there, watch your eyes. It's pretty bright. Great weather here in Florida. Unfortunately, we have the Northeast and, uh, you know, just disastrous up there. And we're, our hearts and our prayers are out for all those people that have either lost their homes or lost their loved ones. Uh, we uh, can only hope that they get the help they need in, in good time. We're back again here, and uh, next step now is to go ahead and etch. We're going to use a paracore system. It has its own etch material. Um, yeah. And we'll just rub this all over. Has a uh, contact time, about a half a minute, I believe. Um, so I'm just dancing, just making sure I have an even coating around there. Might even dip the material again. You don't need too much of it. It's, it's, uh, it's creating um, the right conditions for us to be dual cure. I did go with the dual cure system, suction lingual, over that of the uh, Denmat uh, build-up material, which is single cure, self-cure. I like the dual cure. Uh, I like something bondable, something well, maybe a little more strength to it. So I'm very comfortable with uh, uh, the dual, er, dual cureness of the paracore from uh, company called Whale Dent Coltine. Whale Dent Coltine. They also make the Parapost uh, for root canal treated teeth. All right. Doing okay, Victoria? Mm -hmm. All right, great. So this is our bonded material. It's a dentin bonding agent going on. And that stays on for you know, less than a minute. What do we have? How many seconds on that? Uh, so 30. 30 seconds. Okay, so you got a half a minute on both applications. Here we go. Suction the lingual. And just a light air, as they say. Uh, squeeze it out. And we'll have our light ready for this. Okay, applying the build-up material now. The only complaint I have is it's a little hard to squeeze the material out, but it comes out. All set to light cure that now. We'll let it go for a full cure. Um, 
And I'm going to add a little bit now to it. And tip back. And that buckle side, I might add just a hair more to it. I know I'm going to be prepping in there again, but I just want to be sure we got that covered. Okay, here we go. Very nice. This is going to be an Emax crown, so we're going to use a um, a regular chamfer burr. Uh, we'll prep. Uh, okay. Under two minutes here. Under two minutes. Light up, please. Okay. While we're waiting, I'll go ahead and grab the um, the stump shade guide. I'm trying to get an idea where we're heading here. As far as color. We had our past one that we did behind us, number four. It looks like an ND6. So we'll take that out. It's pretty amber color. And that's... A, a of course, the other tooth was a root canal treated tooth. This one is not. It's a live tooth. So, so it might be ND6. Let me just take a look at our other ND8. ND8 was pretty... pretty dark. Well, this is 8. Actually, the neck is an ND8, so I think at least a half the tooth would be ND8, and then the other half, the occlusal half, is going to be an ND6. All right. Yes. So we'll match up the shades. Got about another 26 seconds on the setting. So it is a dual cure material. Finish the prep on it and then get ready for the impression. Um, how are we doing underneath, Victoria? All right? Mm -hmm. Good. So again, we'll be right in here prepping. There's our timer. What I like to use is a chamfer burr, and then I go right to a yellow cup uh, to finish the prep. So here we go. That's the buckle. And right up to the tooth. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. A little tight squeeze in there. Still okay? We got all the sound effects, but I'm not sure if everybody can actually hear all these sound effects of uh, the prepping here. Mm 
I'll spend a little extra time on the buckle. Just getting it, getting exactly what I want. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now just double check that with. Um, with the Explorer. Okay, I'm going to go right as just above the cord enough below the tissue and bring it right into this mesial area. So I'm going to do a little bit more prepping in there and then we'll hide that margin really well. It looks good. Alright. And we'll continue now. So I'm pretty much set. I like that mesial buckle. I'm happy with that. When we go to cement or crown, we'll place a little retraction cord in there. All right. I like to see um, uh, broad contacts. Okay, coming into the distal lingual now, so I'm just switching angles. And do this from the occlusal aspect. All right, air on the mirror. Okay, now we're going to come and notice this wall here is almost parallel with the adjacent tooth. So we've got to make sure, we're going to do one of two things. we either got to make it a little more divergent. I usually go a combination of the two. I'll make sure we're not parallel, no undercuts, but I'll also want to flatten this contact or this contact if I see that we can improve the embrasure spaces. So here we go, lingually. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to come around lingually. A yeah, fresh 330, please. Um, uh, excuse me, a chamfer, regular chamfer. All you got to do is connect the dots. I mean, this is three plane prepping. There's the first, there's the second, here's the third. So I just okay. hawk bill everything in. Be right with you. So it narrows the occlusal table. And your ceramics can build better porcelain for you. Let me just have you move back a little bit. Okay, all right.
I think I'm going to drop the margin down because I'm going to bring the lingual cusp down a little bit. She's, her bite is just a little, a little bit in crossbite. I want to take full advantage. And we're giving our lab a nice chamfer burr, so that, a chamfer margin, so that they can uh, make a nice Emax and scan. You know, they want to scan the case and do it properly. All right, so here we go. V cut. And I think we're going to need a little flowable composite, possibly. Dry that off. Okay. And I got one little surface imperfection, so we'll just plug that. Explorer. And some of this you probably wouldn't do, but I'm doing it as a demonstration today just to show you how I can go in and troubleshoot. That's a flowable, posterior flowable. See now it's a bondable material. Whereas if I didn't use the bondable material, the self cure I couldn't I couldn't chemically bond to that surface. So that's the advantage. Alright, sorry about the light here. Just about done. I'm gonna switch to like a a, a little football diamond. course is fine. Alright. Alright, looking good. Okay, so I'm going to switch angles. Give you an idea what this looks like. to do a little more reduction once we take the rubber dam off. But right now what I'm, I'm going to do is um, I'm going to polish everything. I'm going to hawk build that in again with my chamfer. Just to bring the table in a little bit more. And we don't want this black to show and we can mask it later on with uh, the ceramic or we can uh, use a, a, a lighter cement. So. Um. My lab usually can mask that pretty well. I don't have to worry about uh, having to block that out. Let's see what they... Hey, yellow cup, please. And a little water with that. You okay, Victoria? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take the rubber dam off and um, come back at you again. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We'll see you on the next segment.